everybody, it's Mr. Marshall at Stony Lane, and I have a new game for you. This is a game that um, requires a lot of math, okay, but it's gonna be fun. I promise. Okay, this is a game that people have been playing since the 18th century. I just heard that. So, if something has been around since the 18th century and they keep playing it, it must be fun, right? So, let's take a look. Here's how it goes Don't Break the Bank. So, in this game, there's a bank. And the bank can only hold up to 999 points. Okay? Can't go over 999. So in the game, all you need is something to write on, something to write with, and you need one die that has six sides. Okay? So here's how it goes. On your game board, you're going to make three rows of three boxes. So it looks kind of like this. Okay, and here's how you play. In this game, you're going to roll your die um, nine times. So I'm gonna roll, I just got a one. Now I have to decide which box I'm gonna put the one into. <coughs> and the way I'm gonna decide is that I have to know that when I'm finished filling in all my boxes, it's gonna create three three-digit numbers. Okay, right? And I have to add these three three-digit numbers up. And the answer has to be 999 or less. I can't go over 999. Okay. If I have over a thousand, I lose. Okay. So, but I want to get to as close as close to 999 as I can. So I got a one. So I think I'm gonna put the one. I have to decide do I want to put it in the hundreds column, the tens column, or the ones column. Well, I think I'm going to put the, the one into the hundreds column right here. Okay. Now let's roll again. Now I got a two. A two. Hmm, I think I'm going to put the two in the hundreds column as well. Okay. See what I'm doing? I'm going to roll one more time. And this time I got a six. Let's see. Where do I put my six? Now that's a very different number. It's very big. So I have to decide if I put it in the hundreds column, is that better? Or if I put it in the ones column? Remember, I can't go over a thousand because a six over here equals six. A six in the tens column means 60. And a six in the hundreds column means 600. Right? So, and I still have a lot of rolls, right? So I think I'm going to put the six in the ones column, right? Do you see what I did? Okay, so now I'm going to roll a bunch more times and fill in all these squares. I'm just going to pretend that I rolled, and here are the numbers that I came up with. And then I'm going to add these up and see what I get, okay? So if I'm playing this alone, I just want to make sure that it's $9.99 or less. If I'm playing with a friend, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my board and my friend's going to have a board and we're going to add them up in the person who's closer to a $9.99 without going over 1000 is the winner. And you can play this alone. You can play this with one friend. You can play this with like five friends. Okay. That's one of the cool things about this game. As many people as you want can be part of it. Okay, so think about that. Think about how you'll win. Try to think about what math you use during this game. Try to think about what strategies are good ones in this game. Try to think about what you're learning in this game. And try to, oh yeah, have fun. Okay, try it out. I'll see you next time.